All right, guys, I'm here with the Mohamed Sanu, former Falcons receiver. He's out here training, putting in the work. Mohamed, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, Miles. How you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Now, we've been seeing you. We've been seeing your videos. As evident right now, you're already out there training. What you been up to lately? It seems like you're trying to put in work to get back on an NFL roster. I've uh, just been training, staying in shape, um, taking care of the fam, handling business, uh, just enjoying life, um, you know. You know, your, your, your body's still able to do things that, you know, at a high level. So he's like, why not keep training and stay in shape, somebody, and get the opportunity to go play the game you love. You did make some some noise this past week when you, when you were liking some tweets and maybe sharing some stuff about a possible Atlanta reunion. Um, how, how cool would that be, uh, you know, to maybe sign on and, and help mentor a guy like like a Drake London or some of this young court they've got for the Falcons now? I mean, it'll be very cool. I, I see a lot of talent in those guys, and just to be able to have somebody that give them the information that, you know, I learned over years from guys that were older than me, and and I was able to, to learn from and to build my game off of to, to help him mature in the sense of how, knowing how to play, how to, you know, take responsibility, how to, you know, saying just little things and knowing how to be a pro. Like, it takes it takes a lot to do so. And, I mean, he has tremendous talent, so I would, would love to work with him teach him a few things on knowing how to use his body and it's all about opportunity i mean i've been actually training this you know off season and a couple guys uh, you know running routes with them and helping them actually get better so it's just you know doing the little things and you know being a part of something you know i love the atlanta community and they've always loved me so i feel like it's it would it would be cool to come back and just be able to help and help them get back into winning and get back to the playoffs, back in the Super Bowls, because they got such a talented team. So, you know, I just see myself trying to help. I don't, I don't want to do nothing but that. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what, what the people may think, or I don't really care. I just know it's what I think and how I see this team. And I know I can help and that's, that's all I see for real. So it'd be cool. Absolutely. And you just brought it up because it seems like a lot of people, especially I like to say like the national folks, they they seem to not really give a lot of love to the Atlanta Falcons when it comes to, you know, the talent that they now have on the roster. You just spoke about it. What is it about the talent, what this team is building that attracts you and, and makes you think that, hey, this team is on an upward trajectory right now? Well, you just see the way they're, they're shaping is about character. And I like what they stand for. A lot of those guys have great character. Um, they stand for, you know, right thing. They do stuff the right way. You can tell. Um, been able to work out with Dez a little bit this off season, and I like the way he he operates. He's a great leader. I can see the guys really, you know, rally around him and listen to him. Um, and and that really he's building connection with each and every player. I, I like that. And that's what you need in a leader to to do that. So uh, I think I see a lot of a lot of upside for him, and I'm I'm excited to see what he does this year. What do you think, because Desmond Ritter has been a, a topic of conversation for a lot of Falcons fans this offseason, mostly because they just they didn't really see a whole lot of him last season. From what you've seen, what do you think, where do you think he'll make his biggest strides for your team? Honestly, I, I'll just see in a way he'll take control of the team. Uh, I, I'll see it. I, I can see that just because the way he took control of um, in the time I was just around him a bit this offseason, uh, he just take control of, you know, the whole training session or the whole atmosphere and he likes to get things operated and if he doesn't get it right one time he's on you know work to get it right you know again he's very detail oriented and, and that's that's something you need in a leader so uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how he leads this team because I mean you can see it in his resume he, he won where he where he was at in Cincinnati and it takes a lot just to win like people don't take that for granted and, and he's a winner so I'm excited to see now, how this, he take, take control this, at the helm. Now, this might be sort of a lofty comparison, but I say it because you have been to a Super Bowl. You've been to the, the best of the best, the top of the line. When you guys were building what you guys were building before you went to the Super Bowl, um, did you sort of see or do you see any similarities between how the Falcons are building it now versus how they were building it when you were there, when they were on their way to the Super Bowl? Uh, I can see it. It's very similar, but I mean... You just you still need you know key pieces and they're still building and you, they got a lot of them and they're not far off so I'm, 
I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to see them go very, very deep. But they got a lot of it, and, and I could, I could see great things happen for the Falcons this year. Awesome, man. And I got to ask you, since I got you here, what is your favorite memory or anything that stands out of being a member of, of the Falcons all those years? I mean, just the times being in the locker room with the guys, uh, those are the most important. Uh, we all had fun grinding together, and working hard together, and preparing for those those games where we were out there performing. You know, as one trying to, you know, put on a great performance for the fans and the organization and get those doves. But, like, you know, that, that Super Bowl, my first year here was probably one of my favorite moments. It was just, like, a lot of ups and downs. And then we were able all to rally around each other, get, get it get it going and we found our identity and and we were able to stick with it i mean we, we fell short but we we were able to you know find our identity but and, and it's hard to do that it's hard to, to do that for, for teams like it's not something easy so i'm interested to see how it goes this year awesome man uh, uh going back to, to what you're doing right now um you know the the role that you're sort of searching for as a wide receiver whether that you know maybe the falcons or, or another team is is there a specific role that you're looking for at this point in your career as a wide receiver i mean honestly i wherever they see me fit i mean i know i can come in and help in on third down and red zone or whatever the case may be but i'm not i'm not in here for trying to like i i play 10 plus years or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to take anybody's spot. I'm trying to help add on to a great team. You know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of the knowledge and experience I know a lot of people don't have. Like I played in the middle and, and playing in the middle and playing in outside is, is two totally different things. You gotta be able to navigate both. And I know how to navigate both. And there's little details and intricacies of the game that a lot of these coaches can't teach receivers and no matter how many years you've been coaching if you weren't out there doing it you can't teach and I mean but I can also do it at an extremely high level and like and I'm in that shape to to do it like people will be shocked and surprised to see I guarantee that and I'm not just saying that just to say it like I'm I'll, I'll, I'll go out and prove it and that's that's all I'm looking for the opportunity to prove it Mm -hmm. Love, love that man. Now I, I gotta say, so one more thing. I was seeing a lot of folks that were commenting on this when you were talking about the Falcons thing on Twitter. Uh, you gotta tell me all about Bean Talk. I'm a little unfamiliar with it. You unfamiliar with Bean Talk? I, I saw the hat. Bean I saw a couple of interviews. I wasn't completely familiar with it. Bean Talk is whatever you want it to be, man. It's a figure of speech. It's an expression. It's a, it's a vibe. It's if you're feeling good, you're on the bean. You know what I'm saying? If you have a great conversation, like this conversation we having now. That's being talk, you know what I'm saying? So if you approve and you like and it's a vibe, that's being talk. I love it, man. Now, now I, before I let you go, did you did you teach uh, teach Desmond any throwing tips? I mean, you've got like I think the highest passer rating of all time for any any quarterback receiver or something, right? I was trying to steal some tips from him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, love I gave him it. a nugget or two. I ain't gonna lie to you, I gave him a nugget or two. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, you, you do have a couple touchdown passes under your belt. So, I mean, I am undefeated as a starter. Nobody knows that. Hey, I didn't enough. say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man, I do appreciate the time. Thank you so much. Uh, best of luck with you wherever you end up going, whether that's with the Atlanta Falcons or another team, whatever that might be. Um, certainly has been a uh, pleasure speaking with you, and I hope the Falcons fans watching this on Twitter and Twitter as well. Hey, I appreciate you, Miles. Thanks for having me on. I hope all y'all having a great time and bless y'all all. Then talk. <laughs>